Hi, this is Satla Power. I'm just doing a quick run of our logs. These are the intelligence logs, and then I will present to you quickly what they are and what they do. So starting over here, we have a breakdown. This is how he looks here. I'm see the quality of the items. The build is really well made, detailed. And we really took time to have it made correctly. So, these are the parts. Now, this lock, which is the details here. Here we have the this we have the plate. Here we have the rubber plate, okay, to protect it against the water and dust. Here we have all the different bolts and tools that comes with the lock, so they can be mounted on different type of doors. Here you have a latch bolt, and here you have three cards which are used to unlock the system. Here you have a key, okay, which is a very different type of key as you can see over here. And you have the entire kit ready to be mounted. So this type of bolt uh, of locks or intelligent lock, this one is the one right here. Okay, that's how it looks like. So you have your fingerprint that you can use to unlock. So we can also use, okay, our Satla card. As you can see, it really unlocks it very quickly. And you can eventually put in your uh, dial. So that will be... Unlock. Now we have a function inside that is in the back here that is called the secure privacy. So when this one is triggered, so what I'm going to do first is like I'm going to use a uh, passcode. The, that passcode, the system has two types. It has the admin passcode and the user passcode. So uh, uh, I'm going to use a, um, a user passcode. So zero, zero. So this one is a user passcode. So what happened is that when the trigger is put in, okay, the user won't be able to get in. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So what happens is that it has to be an admin that will be able to open it. So we will use an admin passcode. See, but if you pay attention, if I disable this one and we use the user passcode, which is 00001, it will be able to, uh, you will be able to open. So we have also inside a doorbell that you can see over here. And we have over here on the top here, which is a camera. So the doorbell we ring and ring on your phone and you will be able to see who that is on and you can open the door with your phone or speak with the person through the the, the remote access and or just ignore whatever so hey, that's where that is in so this one comes in to color which is the um, silver and the black version now this type is able to handle two type of um bolt this one is a latch bolt this one is a full mortise it has one two three three dead bolt plus here the latch bolt so this one okay which is the same principle but this can work either with this type of bolt or this simple one okay so that's how he looks like you can't open it until you unlock it so let's unlock then you able to lock and unlock. So this is the first version that we have here. And again, the latch bolt and the mortise looks like this. Okay, looks like this. We have different version. Here you can see it has three of them and they can all be mounted all together. Okay, so this one is a US 23 Ultra. This one is a US 23, okay? 
and then to go next that would be here that's the leveler okay the leveler which is the same principle okay as you can see the same principle this one does not have a uh, video camera inside but it's the same principle one thing that i want you to notice is that there is a key under okay a key access access under so if you look under here there's a key access and there is also a, a usb let me bring over right here there is a usb port uh, that usb port is when your system let's say the battery is dead and you can use it you can do anything you use uh, your cable from your phone, you plug it, you bring power, and you can enter your door. There is the key also that will uh, be able to, okay, do the same thing. So let's try. So once the key is in and switch into the open position, you can open the door. When it is switched onto the lock position, you won't be able to open the door. To lock this type of a bulb, just pull up and it locks in. Same principle, you can open here. When you unlock, then you'll be able to open it. Okay, so uh, something important is that this does not need internet, Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth to, to work in the sense of uh, the fact that this has inside a system that can be stand alone. Now, if you don't have a battery or you don't want to use the battery, you can still use it as a simple deadbolt okay so the very clear idea is you can use it for more far longer than the system actually can injure meaning more than 10 years um over here we have another version which is uh, the omega one okay he has a normal deadbolt over here okay and on the omega one he has the same principle, which is with the, the fingerprint. Okay. And he can handle the latch bolt. And this is how the back looks like. And over here, you have the Omega 2, okay, which is the white and silver version. Same principle, different color. And here you have the alpha okay this is the alpha b same principle but this one is more um as a uh, dead bolt so this one will work with uh, something else like on the top of it of uh, having two of you know two of them if you want to have just something else so this is more of a dead bolt over here you have the switch s2 which is also a dead bolt and uh, you can do the same thing unlock and he will unlock automatically the deadbolt. And same principle. Now, over here, you have the switch S1. Okay, the switch S1. That's the back of it. That's the switch S1, uh, switch S2. And on the bottom, you have the system so this is really taught to be a uh, greatly used any out anywhere anytime this is a zebulon so this is a little bit i just put out some of them so you can see the internal parts how they are built okay how they are built very great finish And uh, same thing over here. And these are the parts that comes with. And you can see the finish of even the more ties. Okay, so this one is the Zeblon. Okay, eventually you can't open until you have either your fingerprint or 
you open with uh, the card. Okay. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay. So you can open and you lock just by pushing up. Okay. This has also the system inside for the trigger. Once you trigger over here, a user cannot get in. Okay, so this one also has a camera inside and a doorbell uh, for those who like to have the doorbell. So you just hit and he rings on your phone. Requesting remote unlock. So we're gonna go to the next one, which is here the levitator. Okay, this is a more taller one. Okay, yeah, it has a. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, um, we also planning to have a screen on the back. That's something coming up. But for now, this is the normal version, the standard version. We also planning to insert a uh, camera over here. This is a more longer one. It's more taller. And this is more kind of like a big door. This is a navig navigator. So the navigator is different as you can see. That's the inside. Okay. And then he opens and you can now open your door. On the back here, fingerprint, same principle. Okay. And to lock it back, you just hold the lock over here. And we have here a dead key, dead bolt, a key access in case of a need. Okay. And it has eventually a ring bell that we ring on your phone and you will be able to open the door or not open the door. This one, you cannot see the person because we don't have a camera. We all do, we do plan to have a camera on this one, but we haven't put it on yet. So this is a big one, which is called a navigator. And this one is the D-knob. So, uh, well, by the way, the navigator has a button over here. We can just push it and he opens and you open your door. Okay. Uh, it has a lot of a different bolt as you can see inside. Okay. Now over here, you have the D knob, same principle. The fingerprint is in the back here. Okay. Right in the back over here. So you do this. And then you open your door. And in the back, that's how it looks like. And with this one, with the push, you open the door. And with another push, you lock the door. This one here. There you go. And you have a fourth lock over here. That both four of them that you can then trigger. Or you just hold the knob and you open it and you unlock it. So this is called the knob. Okay, so this one is Simplicity K1. Um, we have just thought of something that is just the handle. And same principle, you can use your card or your fingerprint or your code. So here we're gonna try the code. and you open your door so that's how it looks like and here is simplicity as simplicity it has two color so all of them comes with two color minimal which is uh the gray one i mean i mean the silver and the black one Sometimes we can do a little further than those color, but that's the minimum, which is the gray or the silver. So this one is called simplicity, same principle. And you can all unlock them and control them with your um, online, with your phone. So they all have a key here, for instance, you can see. 
on the back hooks you can see let me see so it has a key here and also a usb port same principle to um, transfer power in case your battery is dead and you need to enter home and you don't have your key okay uh, this one over here in order to open it you have to do this and the deadbolt is inside you also push this one down and you have access to the key inside so this is the Satla power um, smart and intelligent locks uh, they all works independently standalone they can work without any internet but the good of it is to use all the functionality and the ease of it so we connect them with either internet or bluetooth and uh, if by any means you don't like those kind of like a bluetooth things and wi-fi well again you have the deadbolt where you can use your keys to access all of them and or use all of them some of them can be used like uh, in conjunction with something else for instance in this case over here if we have the alpha okay so the alpha uh, b can be used in conjunction with this one for instance where you have the top and your bottom or you can do this one the top and your bottom so that's pretty much what we have here concerning the satellite power locks they're all built with power and with a lot of care and the durability of our locks goes up to minimum 10 years but they all have a lifetime warranty period to just give peace of mind to the user and to give also peace of mind to the heart of the user <laughs> okay so thank you for again taking time to walk with me throughout our different models and i thank you god bless you bye bye